edge deployments, containers, and low latency. The future of networking. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming here today. My name is Almog Alfasi. I am a cloud architect at Red Hat. I'm responsible for designing and implementing new cloud services using open source technologies. I do this in several sectors, FSI, telco, and more. And today, I want to share with you a telco project. Our project was for one of the top telco companies in our region, having several DCs and providing services across the state. Like a lot of our customers, multiple teams work on different platforms. For example, the network team on physical appliances, network appliances, the, the DevOps and development of virtualization stage, uh, platform, sorry, and so on. So our goals was we deploy one centrally managed platform for all the teams. Network function virtualization at the edge and provide a container platform for CNF workload, cloud native network function. Let's take a look at the NFV, network function virtualization, to CNF, cloud native network function journey. We can see that from the network appliance stage, right, um, physical stage, organization moved to virtualization stage, and after that, to container platform. But what can we do if we have virtualization capabilities without a container platform? Actually, we stuck in the middle of transition between VMs to containers. NFV and CNF, Cloud Native Network Function, give us some advantage. For example, uh, general hardware instead delicate hardware. Better scale. Multiple function on a single server. And edge compute that I will talk about later. So NFV and CNF platforms options was where, sorry, <laughs> Um, one virtualization platform as an infrastructure, and on top of it, container platform. Next, two separate platforms, one for NFV and one for CNF. Or our choice, option three, remember one of the goals was one centrally managed platform. So option three, a container platform is an infrastructure that can run CNF workloads, and on top of it, QVirt for network VMs. What is QVirt, right? <laughs> or OpenShift virtualization? It's an operator that allows us to run VM inside a pod. Actually, VMs and containers can manage on the same platform. For example, CNF workloads can run with network VMs like router, firewall, SBC, load balancer, etc., side by side. Let's go to the next step and enable our solution at the edge as close as possible to the end users and ensure critical co uh, operation continue with limited connectivity. There are several uh, options and levels for edge tier. No one size for all the organization, and actually we need to choose the relevant tier for the situation. There are several deployment options for edge clusters. Um, we, we want uh, options that can run without a connection to the central DC. Because of that, we chose three node cluster, cluster that provide HA, and each server will be master and worker and can work without a connection to the central DC. The second option, the second choice was single node, SNO OpenShift. Uh, one sing a single server that will be both master and worker roles and also can work without a connection to the central DC. We use both, de de both deployment depending on the edge tiers. So we realized that we will need a lot of edge clusters and one central managed cluster can be critical for us. Our answer was ACM, Advanced Cluster Management. It's an operator that we installed in the central uh, cluster, in the central DC, this cluster called the hub cluster, and from it we deployed, upgrade, and managed edge clusters. The edge cluster is called managed clusters. One more advantage we received by uh, ACM was the deployment process. We use assisted installer tool or service for deploy edge clusters, bare metal clusters. Without assisted installer, the deployment process can be a complex process. So actually, we have a hub cluster in the central DC 
with ACM, and from it, in no time, we deployed edge cluster as needed, tree node or SNO as close as possible to the end users. So after we saw the options and technologies we chose, let's see how everything worked together in our project. We have two central data centers, one for the outside, disaster recovery. In each central data center, we have hub cluster with ACM, and from it, we deployed edge clusters that will run the workloads with special requirements that I will explain soon. So the special requirements or, <laughs> or the buzzword, right? Let's take a look at the server at the edge. Basically, a bare metal node with um, ODF, OpenShift Data Foundation, and local disk for storage solution, CPU pinning, huge pages, and with multi CNI, we add additional VLAN and SRIOV plugin directly to the workload. Our workload was VM inside a pod by OpenShift authorization and provides network function like router, firewall, SBC, etc. So we start here and our achievements, one platform for all the teams and the workload. Oops. VM's capability with QVIRT or OpenShift virtualization for network function, um, firewall, SBC, etc., like we uh, say, and containers capability ready for 5G and CNF, the next generation workload. So one, the, of course, one centrally managed platform for all the edge clusters. Our time was uh, limited, but feel free to contact me uh, here or by social media. Thank you very much. <laughs>